Hello my sewing friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jo Marie and in today's video I will be showing you the second part of the making of stress. The first part is the pattern making. If you haven't seen that yet, you can check that out in the description box below. So without further ado, let's go straight to the tutorial. Next, to make the front band, measure from the raw edge of the seam to the raw edge of the dress, of the length of the dress, including the hem allowance, and then add a couple of inches just to make sure there is an extra fabric for any adjustment. Then, the width of the right band is half of an inch plus one inch of seam allowance. So that would be one and a half inch, two pieces. So you have to cut two pieces for the right band so we can insert the loops. On the left side, we only need one strip of fabric. Same process, measure from the raw edge down to the bottom, add a couple of inches, and then this part is one and a half inch. But since we have to fold it, that would be a total of three inches plus one inch of seam allowance. The width of the left band is four inches wide. Again, the width of the right band is one and a half inch, cut two pieces. The width of the left band is four inches, folded one piece. And for the binding, this is totally optional. You can skip this part if you don't want to. This will not affect the process. I just use any binding that have the same shade of green.
before I show you the next step, I just want to say thank you for all of you who are still with me until this part. If you have any questions or clarifications, just leave a comment down below and I will get back to you. And if this content has been helpful, it would be great if you join me in my sewing journey by subscribing and hitting the bell, liking this video, and that will inspire me to make more videos like this and be part of your sewing journey as well. So in the next step, to make the ruffles in the cup, measure from this side up to this side, then double that measurement, and then the width of this ruffle will be two and a half inch, including the seam allowance. Now take note that if you are making the cuff on the left side, the this ruffle should be facing outward from your body, and the side that doesn't have the ruffles will be towards the inside since this will cover this part. So the same way on the right side, the ruffles in this side should be facing outward. The side that doesn't have the ruffles should be facing inside. And then after that, we're just going to have to insert the buttonholes where you want to be and insert the buttons as well. So the buttons will be on the side where it does not have the ruffles.